Hi, it's Jesse here at BoldGrid, and I'm here today to answer a question from a user in the BoldGrid support forums, Jason. Um, Jason actually has a pretty common question, how to create a video background header that takes up the full height of the screen. Um, so this is becoming a, a fairly common design pattern. Um, you might have heard of the SEO tool, uh, Answer the Public, uh, which you can see here, it has what appears to be actor Michael Keat making faces at the screen and then occasionally glancing down at the call to action. Um, definitely weird. It kind of disrupts the expectation, which is great marketing tactic. Um, so that can be really powerful. The specific example that Jason brought up was iAnimate.net, uh, which you can see here. This is an online computer animation school. And so by featuring these computer animated videos in the background, uh, it's a really solid demonstration of the value that they're offering to their customers. So when done right, this can be a super good marketing tool for your website. A um, couple of drawbacks, it is a little bit slower uh, in terms of page speed because of the video and things like that. But uh, as I show you how to do this, I'm gonna show you some ways that you can get around um, those problems as well. So uh, this is gonna be done using the Creo Pro theme, uh, using the custom page headers feature. Um, so here I have a uh, out of the box Creo website using the music template. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this top block in the homepage content into a custom page header with a video background. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and edit the page and I am going to copy that top block to use as a template for my new custom page header. So I need to get everything above this gray uh, section border. And the easiest way to do that, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see, is to switch over to the text editor. Um, you can see it starts with a div class bold grid section. And I wanna get everything until the next bold grid section. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy everything here. And I'm gonna to go to Creo page headers, add new. Okay, a blank page header, I'm gonna name video background. I'm going to flip over to the text editor, uh, select all and paste on top of that, everything I just copied. And we have here, it looks like I got an extra section, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this section. So now we have a clean section, uh, identical copy to what was in our homepage template. Um, and now the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove the background that's already here. So I'm gonna edit section, go to background and remove that. Uh, it looks blue just because that's the background color in my color palette, but this will be transparent on the front end. Um, okay, so uh, because these custom page headers are built using the Post and Page Builder uh, plugin by Bold Grid, um, Post and Page Builder doesn't have video backgrounds yet. That feature is coming down the pipeline, uh, but I'm not sure exactly how long that's going to be. So I'm going to do this tutorial with a third party plugin. Um, so I'm going to go to plugins and add new. And I'm just gonna search for the term video background. And as you can see, there are actually tons of free plugins in the repo that uh, give the video background feature. Um, the one I chose for this tutorial is uh, just called Video Background by Push Labs. Um, the reason I'm choosing this one is it's super simple, super lightweight, um, works with any page builder with a short code. Um, so go ahead and install and activate the video background plugin. Um, you could probably accomplish this with any number of the other ones that are in here. Uh, this is just the one that I, I chose for this tutorial. So we're gonna go back to the header that we're creating. And um, that short code is going to be invisible when we actually put it in our page. So um, in order to work around that, I'm gonna switch back to the text editor just so uh, you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna choose this empty uh, column to put it in. 
if you've never used a shortcode before, they're always enclosed in uh, square brackets. And in this example, we're going to use uh, vidbg as the shortcode ID. And video background has a bunch of different attributes. Um, I'm going to have a link to the documentation in the YouTube description as well as in the forum post, Jason. Um, so the first thing we need to do is look for a container. Um, so container equals double quote. Now, in order to add a container, um, I want it to be this entire section. So I'm going to go back to that edit section menu. I'm going to go to the advanced control. And I'm going to go to the custom CSS classes. And I'm going to call the container video hyphen BG. Okay. And I'm going to head back to text. And container equals dot video hyphen BG. Uh, the next one is the actual video file. So if you're using a video in MP4 format, you do MP4 equals. Um, I'm actually going to use a WebM formatted video. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this does come with a performance cost to your website. So I highly recommend getting this as optimized as possible. Um, convert your MP4 to a WebM, much smaller file size. It'll load a lot faster. Um, and so I'm going to go over to my media library and grab this WebM video that I have previously uploaded. And I'm going to copy this URL to the clipboard here. And so webm equals paste that URL. And the next thing I'm going to do is a poster. Uh, the poster is the static image that will appear uh, while your video loads. So back to the library. And I've got this image that I created here. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. Poster equals paste that. And the last thing I'm going to do is enable the overlay equals true. Uh, all that does is add a semi-transparent color to the front of it. By default, it's a 30% a black overlay. So that's what I'm going to do um, just to improve the readability of the white text I've got in this header. So uh, as I mentioned, this is an invisible shortcode. So you can see where it got added here, but it is not. there's nothing there. So uh, that's all we need to do to enable the video background. I'm going to do a couple things just to make this a functional header. I'm going to add an empty row. And in this row, I'm going to clone the column it came with. So I have two columns. And I'm going to go ahead and add the site title. And I'm going to add a navigation menu. There we go. Um, when you add a new navigation menu, you do have to name the location. I'm going to call this the video background menu. Um, always name that something that is going to be obvious for uh, this specific page header so that you can remember it later. And I've added my primary menu. You can see home about us contact us here now. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that. That's all we need to do here for now. Oh, there is one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to give the call to action a custom CSS class as well. That's going to come in later. I'm going to name it uh, video BG. CTA for call to action. And once that's all done, uh, we're going to go to the customizer to um, actually enable this page header menu. So appearance, customize. And as soon as the customizer loads, we are going to go to the design section, header, and page headers. 
Uh, if this is not enabled, go ahead and enable header templates now. And we're going to use this on our home page, uh, the video background layout. I'm going to publish that, and you do actually have to reload the customizer for your custom page uh, header template to show up. So it's going to reload here. Okay. So uh, we can see here, we do have a video background and our call to action. And the reason that we can see this at its full height right now is actually because of a custom CSS rule. Um, so go to your CSS editor. And what we need to do is we need to make the dot video hyphen BG element. We're gonna call it height is 100 VH. And this VH is a special unit in CSS uh, that's computed based on the height of the viewing window. Um, so no matter what size screen your visitor is using, 100 VH is always going to be 100% of its height. Um, I'm also going to add that same class to the video BG CTA element. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that right there. And let's go ahead and check it out on the front end. And we have that great big full size video background. Um, so that's how you accomplish that. There are a couple steps. Um, I'm going to do one more thing before I let you go. And that is this, uh, this menu isn't quite a good color because I can't see the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and go to um, edit this menu. And if, uh, if, you, if I didn't use the pencil, I would go to design menus and the video background menu. Uh, menu items, active link. The active link is the one of the page that you're actively viewing right now. And I'm going to make that a darker color. Now we can see everything. And so that's how you do it, a full page. Uh, video background and as you scroll down you can see the rest of the page is unaffected um, but no matter what size screen your visitors are on this will take up the whole thing until they scroll down so uh, if you have any more questions Jason please let us know I'm going to write out these instructions and put them up on a tutorial on bullgrid.com uh, coming up very soon for you thank you very much and have a great day